Hello, hello, and welcome to Connect In. I'm Damini Celebre, your host, and it is my mission to help you live as your brightest, best self. And the way that I am called to help you live as your most authentic self is through a combination of energy medicine, um, healing arts, and creative arts. And so that's what I thought I would do with you today. Connecting in is all about connecting into what your body, heart, and soul have to share with you. Mostly it's about connecting into your light, the magnificence of you, and to help you reframe all those limiting patterns that keep saying, yeah, no, no, that's not me. No, no, that's not me. Into, yeah, hell yeah, that's me. Last week, I shared with you uh, a new formula, if you will, and that is heart plus creativity equals transformation. And so I know that I'm kind of set up here with some paints, but you can do this with crowns, with pencils, with free writing. Uh, In fact, I like to, I have another little phrase I like to use, and that is explore, move, write draw equals transformation. And so what I wanted to do today is just take you through the whole process to see if I can wake up inside you that part of your soul that's like, oh, yes, that feels like freedom. That feels like expression. That feels like a way to get out of my head and back into my heart. The first step in exploring what your heart and soul want to share with you is to create sacred space, to create a space that says, I am leaving my head, I'm coming back to my heart and soul. And then we'll begin with a short meditation, which is breath, belly, feet. From there, we will set an intention and see where my body, my heart, my soul take us. When I begin to open sacred space, I like to use things that engage my senses. So a candle, some incense, something that doesn't happen all day long. So it allows me to know that I'm coming into sacred space. And then I want to begin with meditation of breath to belly to feet. Bringing my awareness to my breath bringing it into my upper chest, down into my belly, into my hips, and down to my feet. And because the opening question is always the hardest, because it's coming back into our mind, what um, I like to do as I'm in this breath, belly, feet space, I kind of ask my heart and soul, what is it that I need to explore today? If I had something particular, I would definitely do that. Um, But I'm also really open to the brilliance of my body and heart to guide me exactly where I need to be today. And so as I ask the question, what is it that I need to explore today? What I'm present with is a lot of tightness and my upper chest coming into my throat. And I'm going to start the process with some free writing. And free writing is really all about just allowing the words to flow without judging them, without uh, worrying about grammar or spelling or any of that, right? What is it that I need to look at today? My throat. And I'm just allowing whatever wants to come up, come up until the next thing that my body says I want to do. 
And what's happening in my body is this feeling in my throat and chest is actually getting more amplified, right? That's good. We just want movement. I don't have to worry or judge about the expression or about the movement. I'm just letting my body guide me because I believe in the guidance of my body. I believe that my heart and soul are speaking to me right now through this embodied creative process. I'm lucky enough to have a lot of different um, supplies floating around and you can do this with a pencil, a crown, and a sharpie too. It is all about the process, not about making art. Certainly not about making art. It's going and looking into my little magic toolbox, which is this, which is a whole bunch of tempera paint sticks, which I think are super fun. And going to the color that either excites me or repels me, because I think both of those are just as important because it is a strong, energetic experience. Ooh, that's good. That's making me feel nauseous. Yay! All right, just go with the flow. Don't worry about whatever is present. Just allowing the body to speak however it wants to speak. Don't worry about repetitive patterns or um, just don't worry, just keep following what makes this juicy and exciting and present and you know Again, I have a lot of different fun things here I like to play with. All kids stuff though. Right. Oh yeah, that's making that stuff in my throat feel gross. Right? The role of the heart is to allow things to flow. All I'm doing is allowing flow to happen. If you feel like you're trying to govern this, you're trying to make something happen, you are in the world of your head. You want to just keep letting whatever wants to show up, show up. Why asshole wanted to come up? I don't know. Stupid. Oh yeah. Okay, good. We're getting to the stuff that I, <laughs> that are, st that's stuck in my throat. And when I stop and pause into that, where is the stupid? Who is telling me about stupid? What is triggering me? about stupid. Like, I don't have to know. I just have to really pause for a moment and say, stupid, huh? So I'm going to do just some free writing on stupid.
stupid is in the pit of my stomach. Some stupid is something that I really believe in myself. Stupid is tied into being successful or not being successful. Stupid is a story I tell myself. Here's the thing that's amazing about this process. You know, I was sharing with you, joking around with you, kind of taking you, sharing with you the process. Um, and just by the simple invitation to ask my body, what is it that I need to know right now? This whole thing of stupid floated up. And It's not about pushing that away. You know, it's not about hiding that emotion. You know, my body, heart, and soul has invited me to look at this story I tell myself, this stupid, and be present with it. So if I were to stop right now, that would be enough for me right now to kind of float around and, you know, um, to notice what surfaces when um, the role of the heart is to allow all emotions to flow. Uh, and so clearly stupid is popping up as my little personal log jam right now. And I don't really want to walk away right now. So I'm going to stay present with stupid because stupid is the thing that is holding me back right now in this moment, this sense of me feeling not okay. want to go get to really bring stupid into the forefront so I'll be right back again I'm trying not to push it away I'm trying to go towards what is what I'm feeling towards all of this feeling about stupid and <laughs> I was called to go get some of my glitters, which I used to use when I had live retreats. But I think what I want to do right now is just really give stupid this limiting belief that's present right now, some serious honoring. Like I want to really feel and give stupid some some space to be. How can I make, make, that sounds like I'm going to try to do something with it. Not really. I'm just allowing this to have expression. The beauty of embodied creativity is you just allow your body Feel what you want to feel. Allow your body to follow what your body is guiding you to. Not, not all of you may have twinkles, sparkles floating around, and that's okay. You know, you'll find something else that resonates with you. You know, you just go towards what your body goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Don't judge it. Just give it some space to be. Right? But as I'm doing this, I am truly feeling into my body. Is this 
make it actually what's happening in my body. So I'm always paying attention to my body because I don't have to, you know, I can keep putting the sparkles on or I can go on to something else. But I'm waiting for my body, my heart to tell me that. And so what I am feeling into here is how I'm feeling. So what's happening is I'm feeling a little bit more vulnerable, which is a little freaky of freaky thing to do while I'm on live with you all. It feels important to keep doing this. It feels important to keep allowing this feeling of stupid to really have some presence. And not to judge it and not to try to make something happen. So what's happening is I want to cover this up with black paint. And my mind goes, no, you shouldn't do that. You can't do that. That's not the right thing to do. But really, my uh, my body is saying, yeah, that's the next step. Like, it doesn't have to make sense, right? You just keep following what you want to follow here. Again, I'm not trying to cover it up by any stretch. I'm just allowing my body to express it this, this, in, in a way that feels right. So it's just making me even more uh, emotional here. Hi, everybody. Um, but I want to really take you through this process so you can understand the power, heart, plus creativity equals transformation. Transformation doesn't mean it's all better. It just means that you understand a little bit more about yourself, right? It, it's about understanding um, what's holding you back. It's about understanding the stories that are keeping you from being you. That's transformation. It's not out, you know, when I say brightest, best self, everybody thinks that that means you got to be perfect. And that just means you get to be as authentic of you as you can, right? Now, what is it? I'm having this urge to cover up all the white now. I know that stupid's underneath all this glitch, trust me. I'm not hiding from stupid. I'm just giving my body what it wants. So what really wants to be present is this chalkboard paint, which is so dis deliciously black that um, I'm being called to make it even darker. And again, I am still very present that I am feeling wobbly, that this is definitely triggering something inside me. And because we're using the amazing embodied creative processes, I don't have to know why. All I have to do is let my body guide this process because it's my body and my heart that is leading the show right now. And my role is to pay attention to how I'm feeling. That's the freeing thing about using kids paint because it's cheap, it's non-toxic, so sometimes I end up painting with my hands. That's okay. 
<laughs> the phrase that's going through my head is stupid wants what stupid gets. I don't know, right? I'm just being present with what is here. So what I'm really wanting now is not only sparkles, but glitter. I don't really think I have any glitter. So there has to be kind of a workaround, but for right now, I'm just gonna not get caught up on what I don't have, because isn't that part of <laughs> the journey, right? <laughs> We're always looking outside ourselves for what we don't have, instead of looking inside ourselves for what we do have. So. So the bigger question is, when are you done? I don't know if you're ever done. I always think of this process of being one little bit of insight over and over again. But there is something about this delightful constellation that is present that um, is making me feel really good. And, you know, does a painting always have a happy ending? Stupid brought me to appreciating my own constellation, my own light in the dark. There's a lot of layers to this, but I think for now I'm going to stop it. I'm going to honor it. I'm certainly going to take some time and journal about about this stupid thing that kicked in and my body heart and soul also want me also want me to remember this part of myself and really i can't you can't make this stuff up when you allow your heart and soul to follow the process so if this resonates with you if this process kind of twinkles inside your heart and in your body if it intrigues you then consider joining my creative alchemy membership until summer solstice which is on june 21st i am offering a founders member special price and what we do is monthly we dive deep into the embodied creative process so that we can live as our brightest best selves and then throughout the month you're loved up by an amazing community. Beautiful. And until next week, mwah.